This is Mayor Ron Anders with the Mayor's Minutes from our November the 19th, 2019 Auburn City Council meeting. We began doing the Committee of the Whole by looking at uh, some Parks and Rec, two Parks and Rec Advisory Board appointments, and the Council decided to reappoint Robert Cochran and Malcolm Daly, who have both served one full term and they were seeking a second full term. They've both done an outstanding job and we're happy to reappoint them. We also thank the other people who applied for the Parks and Rec Advisory Board and uh, certainly we're grateful that they were interested enough to send in an application and we want to encourage you to continue to do that. Uh, this was just one of those situations where we had incumbents who were seeking second terms and that has been part of our tradition here at Auburn. If you've done a good job for one term, we'd like for you to ser serve a second term. In addition, during the Committee of the Whole, I asked the City Council to rearrange our Committee of the Whole meeting for the December the 3rd City Council meeting. And so on December the 3rd, during our Committee of the Whole, we will be discussing um, the work of the Student Housing Task Force and where our city currently stands with student housing inventory, uh, with the university's plans for enrollment in the future, and what exactly does the City Council want to do with this information moving forward. To do that, I asked Councilman Dawson and Councilman Parsons to delay some of the discussion on some items that they wanted us to talk about, and we'll do that later at a work session, which that includes a South Auburn Police Precinct and the discussion of impact fees, impact fees related to development, excuse me. So we'll do that later on in December, but we'll use our committee the whole time in December the 3rd to talk about student housing, and we certainly look forward to moving that ball forward on that topic, which has been widely debated in our community. As we moved into the City Council meeting um, in the consent agenda, we approved an alcohol beverage license for Big Mike Steakhouse, and this will be a new restaurant located at 610 Shug Jordan Parkway, and hopefully they'll be open here in the next couple of months. We approved a contract with Davis Architects for the design services for the Jan Dempsey Art Center renovation and expansion project. We've got a number of things we need to do at Jan Dempsey. It's 20 years old now, which is hard to believe that that facility has been with us for 20 years. And so there are just some basic cosmetic things that we need to do in there, but there's also some opportunity possibly to expand uh, our services in there and offer some new programs with more space. And we have some ADA challenges we need to overcome and we need to renovate for that. So we look forward to that work getting done. And of course, to get that work done, we've got to have it designed. We also approved a design contract with the Foresight Group for the design services for the MLK Drive Streetscape project. And we've talked about this for a while. This is part of our vision for Northwest Auburn. Uh, one of the early uh, projects we'd like to, to get behind us is, is taking Highway 14, Martin Luther King Drive, and, and making it a, a better presentation out of that road. Um, changing the lighting out there, building sidewalks, looking at our medians, looking at how the water drains off of that road, how safe is that road, all of those things that'll make it a better quality uh, thoroughfare for our community and hopefully help us attract some commercial development to that corridor in our community. Uh, this is a very important project to me personally and I look forward to us getting, forward, getting moving forward on this here in the near future. We approved a contract with Temple Software for Information Traffic Control um, a, a Temple Inc. for one-year access to applied information for our traffic control software. Um, all of the lights you see here in town uh, turn different colors for a reason. Uh, that is all part of a system, and so this is software that just helps us to uh, more successfully control our traffic signals in and around Auburn. We also approved a, uh, an expenditure with Dell EMC Corporation for the purchase of four Dell EMC Isilon H400 nodes with three years of support and maintenance for almost $80,000. And this is what I can tell you about that. We have a lot of information that takes up a lot of storage and we need more capacity for doing that. And so this is just uh, recommendations from our IT department uh, to get the latest and greatest uh, um, technology to, to store all of the information that we have. A lot of that is public safety information, and so we are proud to do that because we want to make sure that everything that we have is as secure as it can possibly be, uh, and we can maintain it for the future use that we might have in this community. So we did approve that contract. We approved a new uh, purchase of an excavator for Public Works. It's $115,000, and this is an expansion of our services with Public Works, and this will allow our staff to get more projects done on behalf of you, the citizens. We also approved a, the 
financial obligations for the new contract for the Alabama High School Athletic Association in partnership with the Auburn Opelika Tourism Bureau and the City of Opelika to continue to host the Alabama High School Athletic Association Super 7 Football Championships. Uh, this will be a six-year extension that we'll fund and Auburn will host this in 2022 and 2026. Uh, we will um, we will give $75,000 to the event to bring it here and to help offset the expenses that go along with the event. Opelika is also going to put in $75,000 and the Tourism Bureau will put in $50,000. So each time the event comes to Auburn, uh, comes to the Auburn Opelika area, we will commit $200,000 to the event. That's exactly what's being done in the city of Tuscaloosa and that's exactly what's being done in the city of Birmingham. This contract has changed instead of it being a contract between two cities and two universities. There'll be a third one now with, with Birmingham and their new stadium that will serve UAB. But we're excited to continue to host the Super 7 and I'll remind you that it'll be back here in Auburn on December the 4th through the 6th and encourage you to come out and watch those young men uh, participate for the state championship. Under ordinances, we approved some traffic control signs in the Tuscany Hills neighborhood phase six. We also approved an amendment to the Woodward Oaks PDD Basically, this will, uh, this will add an 8,000 square foot office space building and a 12,000 square foot public use building, which is our fire station. And we did approve the amendment to that PDD. And then under resolutions, we approved the conditional use of that office building and the fire station um, at the Woodward Oaks subdivision. And we also approved an expansion of the Holy Trinity Church on uh, 100 Church Drive. They'd like to do an expansion for their growing congreg congregation there. This is Ron Andrews with the Mayor's Minutes for the, 2000, for the November 19, 2019 meeting. Uh, hope you have a great week and a happy Thanksgiving.